So what is up guys, how you doing today? Welcome back to the video. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button because you're watching Ryan McAllister vlog. This is not a vlog this time, this is a and a video. I've never done one of these in my entire life, so let's get right into it. I've asked people if they could send in their Q&A questions right now, and I've got a few through so far. And I'm nearly at 50,000 followers, that is insane. It's ever since the lockdown has happened in the UK, like that is crazy. TikTok is popping just because of COVID-19. All the kids are off school and now TikTok is like the video right now, subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you never miss a banger. I'll be doing a vlog, hopefully in the next few weeks, but I'm banned from TikTok for posting. <laughs> but other than that, let's get right into the video. First off, we have Mylene Morgan. She's from Snapchat. Do you miss football? I'm not really a big football fan. The only football team in Scotland I like is Celtic. I'm on the hoops. If you don't like Celtic, then fair enough. If you're a Rangers fan, I'll still support you on that. We have Robbie from Snapchat. Have you ever been bald? Uh, yes. Not fully bald. I had a buzz cut and I was on holiday. I was in Spain and I wanted to get a buzz cut. Was I bald? Not really. We have Lauren Graham. If you were to collab with any famous YouTuber, who would it be? The first YouTuber but I enjoy more is Lance Stewart. I take inspiration from him because he's inspired me from the beginning. I was his 300th subscriber and I still watch him to this day. Aaron Gavillan, what's happening? Can you say that again, Aaron? Love your TikToks. And I freaking love you too, brother. Right, next off we have Carla. She is from Snapchat. I love your videos and I like them all. Thank you very much. What is your biggest pet peeve? What annoys me the very most? Nothing really. When Kyle McPherson or Cami goes out and gets drink, that is my biggest pet peeve. And if they go out to get drink, I want to go out there. I want to get some drink. They keep making me jealous. I want drink. Aye, that's my biggest pet peeve. Thanks for obeying me, Kyle. Right, we have my main ginger ninja, Kyle McPherson. Do you miss your main man, Kyle? Because he misses you, brother. Of course I miss you. You need to start coming out with me and Cami so we can get on it. Go different places. Go to abandoned places. I miss it. Brotherhood, bromance. That's what we used to be. Like, two years we have been friends and we'll still continue to be friends. You're my main boy as well. Boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Next off, we have Kieran Hudgens, Snapchat or TikTok? Oh, that's a hard question. TikTok. We have Kian Quilly. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? I've got to say, I would rather live in America. But I love Scotland. Scotland is the place to be. If it was to be anywhere in America, I would go and live in Philly. Next off, we have Nathan. What's your biggest inspiration? I'm on the hoops, but a famous influencer. Really popular on YouTube and TikTok. Next off, we have Nicole X. Who's your favourite out of the hype house? Addison Ray. I had a big crush on her ever since I seen her on TikTok. She's gorgeous. We have Lacey Joel Cusack. Do you miss the Celtic games? I don't really watch the games, to be honest. I used to watch my brother play FIFA all the time. I watch it with my mum and dad sometimes. We have Rebecca McGee. What is it like being my nugget? Uh -huh. Love you, nugget. I don't know. That's a very, very hard question. What's it like being my nugget? I like caring for you. You're like a wee friend on chat every single night to six in the morning. We're always sending the purple love hearts. That is something that is inspired by Cami. cami has got me doing that every single conversation I have with someone. But you know, I love you too, Nugget. There's no words that can explain how much of a Nugget I'm to you and your man Nugget. Next person is Kaylee. If you guys don't know who Kaylee is, her second name is Marshall. Yes, Kaylee Marshall. I don't really want to answer your question, it's offensive. We're on call right now. Who's the most annoying on the call? Dylan, he is the stalker. He loves to ask me, when am I going live? He's always asking every single day and night, are you going live? Are you going live? Live. Join it, Alpha Army. Right, next off we have basic bitch123. What made you want to start YouTube? Well, I started YouTube just because I loved making videos back in the day when I was like age 11 to 13. Because I had my mum's camera at the time and I used to always pick it up and I always used to go in my own room and take this camera and start filming myself doing Harry Potter skit, do reenactments of Harry Potter and stuff like that. Because I used to be a big Harry Potter fan. Still am to this day because I've got the Harry Potter chess pieces and stuff like like that and I've always had uh, a collection and I've got all the movies which I sold ages ago so they could have been worth millions to this day. What YouTube wasn't a big thing back in the day when I used to pick up a camera. Then I started to see people post these kind of videos themselves, recording themselves and I thought I'd get into it and then Vine came along so I joined that. I got at least 12,000 followers on there. People 
just sat and used to revine my videos every single day because Vine was so big back in the day and that was hard. Before Musical.ly was even a thing, I joined Musical.ly, I got at least 7,000 on there. Musical.ly died and then it became TikTok. This platform where people do weird videos. <laughs> TikTok became a thing in 2016. It just kicked off from there and I started to do Scottish videos where I done slang videos and I climbed the Duke of Capaldi as well. That went viral to an extent of 45,000 views. Next off, we have Dylan Farmer. Favourite part about Scotland. See, if you go a few vlogs back, I went to the Isle of Arran and it was so beautiful at the fact we went on a boat to the island. The best part would to go is the highlands. Like if you aren't Scottish already and if you are a tourist, please just don't go in the main city. That's where Junkie Villas go to the highlands, visit there first. But never ever if you see a person in a kilt, ask them what's under their skirt. Well it doesn't offend them but it's a part of their tradition. Can't ask them what's underneath the kilt. So just take that in mind if you're a tourist and you're watching. Uh, next question, we have Lily from Snapchat as well. Uh, what's the worst thing you have done when you were drunk? Uh. Oh yeah, the worst thing I've done when I went out with Cameron in a night out. We had Cara, the one that drives me and Cameron about to go places. Emma and Ben, we were a night out and before we were even going out to meet them on a night out. So we, we went past Glasgow Central and this was the point where we were just getting the sesh ready. I had a little drink. Cara was steaming just after having two beers. Cameron, on the other hand, some venoms. He was almost steaming. And Cara was this kind of person that you'd have to drift back away from. At the fact, she would always try to cause an argument. And me and Cameron is really close at the fact we've been, been there and there. We've lost brothers together, so we're, we're quite close as well. Uh, like me and Kyle. Uh, we never argue. Cara started an argument and then it was only about Cara and Cameron. Cara brings me into it and I'm like, what have I done to deserve this? I've not done anything. Because I hate arguments to the max, I kind of fainted in front of Cami because we started to argue. I that's what happens. Uh, we had our embarrassing moments as well. But I also make myself puke at the same time, you know, when I'm drunk. I would fall all over the place. You know? Next off, we have Samantha. Do you have a girlfriend? Would you ever get with one of your fans? I mean, if you're over 18 and we're a night out, and you come along and you bump into me, feel free to fire into me because I'll be drunk, probably get with one of my fans. Please don't be a minor, back off. We have Mark Stitt. What made you to become TikTok famous? Met Emma Cassidy. Well, Cameron told Emma about me that I do YouTube and obviously she gave me a mention on her TikTok and she didn't, it didn't really do much for me. It only gave me a bit of boost since my Musical.ly died at the time. Gave me at least 400 followers and then me and Emma would talk here and then. Started to stop talking. What made me become TikTok famous is really bizarre. I think it's most of my videos that got on the For You page all the time. I'll try my hardest on my content. I'll try to make it quality after quantity. I'll push myself to my limits, make myself tired, make myself stressed, this and that. Get depressed over content sometimes, but I'll try and get myself out of my comfort zone. I'll stay positive and I'll also try and talk to my fans and reply to as much of them as possible. It was the Duke of Capaldi. It was my Scottish slang videos. People really loved the Scottish videos and that's what gained me a track. And the most viral hashtags we have is TikTok recommendations or recommendations viral and trend. Try and get yourself out there, focus hard, belt out your energy, make sure you are able to talk into a camera and just laugh and have fun with it. Next off we have Melissa Lucas. If you had to live in Edinburgh or Walkerburn, what would you choose? I'd probably choose Edinburgh because I would love to go to Edinburgh Castle every single day. Can you follow me on TikTok? Um, no. Next off we have Hannah. Hannah Baker! Do you think you are famous? I'm not famous. People are gonna say that because I've got a lot of followers. I'm actually an influencer. It just has popularity and I have a lot of followers. That doesn't say you're famous. If you were famous, you'd be a celebrity right now. I'd be out there spending money every single day. Next off we have Lacey. Harvey. Oh my god. We've got another question about my eyebrows. So what made me really shave my eyebrows? Well, to be frank, to be quite honest, they're growing in quite quick. And I just go out in public still looking like a, um, a, a Peter Griffin wannabe. Now I've inspired a lot of people on TikTok. And also, this boy came on my live stream. Do you know what he did? He shaved his eyebrows off in my live stream. And I was freaking out. So I started to do my videos in front of my mum and dad. My mum would say to me, what are you doing? Why are you recording yourself? I used to say to my mum, I'm making a movie, mum. I'm making a movie. I'm trying
trying to record my face. I loved it. So we've got Lucy, the goose. Uh, who do you have beef with on social media? I have no beef with anybody, to be honest. I don't really like to have beef with anybody on the social media platform or drama. We have Rachel from Snapchat. So what's your favourite thing about TikTok? The funniest ass shit on TikTok. Like, they'll step on bananas. They'll do the weirdest tricks. And they'll record their face doing weird shit. And they still get TikTok famous from it. Carla Steven. If you could ever meet anyone in the world, would have to be f most funniest guy alive. The comedian himself, Kevin Hart. He does the most randomest TikToks ever. He's such an inspiration. I watch his movies. Love you, Kevin Hart, if you see this at one point. I'm free for the videos. Thank you for joining and watching this q and I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Don't forget, smash the like button down below right now. You are watching Ryan McAllister Vlogs. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. If you do like my content, check me out first before you subscribe. Hit the bell icon down below to stay tuned for my next banger coming out. Join the Alpha Army if you haven't already. Join the movement because we are are alpha. Alpha is a pack. We come in strong. We connect. Thank you for joining. See you guys in the next video.